The next morning when Melissa woke up, Damien was no longer in bed with her. She looked around in the bedroom and there was still no sign of him. She hopped out of the bed and ran out the bedroom. She hurried down the stairs and called, Damien, where are you? There was no answer. Hmm. Melissa began searching in the potion room and Damien was nowhere in sight. She thought for a moment for the most reasonable possibility of where Damien could be. She thought that Damien could be in the kitchen preparing the breakfast. She left the potion room and started heading to the kitchen. Melissa darted through the dining room and Damien was still nowhere in sight. In the kitchen she looked and paced all around. But Damien was not in the kitchen either. Melissa became a little worried and ran out the kitchen. She continued on the search around the castle and called. Damien, if you are in the castle, please answer me. There was still no answer and Melissa became more worried. She had searched and searched everywhere all around the castle and Damien was not anywhere to be found. Melissa stepped outside of the castle. She hmm. scratched her head in confusion and had no idea where Damien could be found. Then she decided to give up and go home. She magically disappeared. Back at home, she reappeared with her magic. She walked into the front door and came inside. Inside the cottage back at her workshop, there stood Damien. He was standing next to the floor door and didn't seem very happy. When he confronted her with the potion in his hand, he glared at her and asked, Melissa, tell me the truth. Was that the love potion you put into my wine glass last night? Did you pour that to make them me sick and start falling in love with you? Melissa was shocked when Damien confronted her with the love potion in his hand. She nervously stuttered and asked him, um, Where and how did you find that um, love potion? When I woke up sober, I noticed and found a used potion bottle in your belt. When I looked at it, it is labeled Love Potion. I took it with me and flew over to your cottage while you were sleeping. When I came inside your cottage, I noticed a key that was lying on the floor door. I unlocked it and went downstairs. It took me through the corridor and I got inside your potion room. That is how I found out about it, Melissa, yet I have asked you a question. Did you put the blood potion into my wine glass last night that made me sick and madly fall in love with you? Hmm. She playfully and momentarily thought up of a lie for a moment and lied. Of course not, Damien. You know me. I would never ever do such a thing to you like that. Me, Melissa. He warned her as he pointed out to her. Ever since you and I have met, you have been acting very strangely to me, and every time I go out eat with you, I get very sick and then madly fall in love with you. Because I have the right to know the truth, I am asking you one last time. Did you put the love potion into my wine glass last night, yes or no? Melissa sadly nodded. But Melissa... I have trusted you, but you deceived me with your secrets and lies about the love potion you put in. Why would you do this? Because I love you very much, Damien, and I wanted you to love me back some more. I want you to feel me, touch me, think about me, please me, and tease me more all the time. She knelt down beside him and pleaded him to forgive her. Damien, I am so sorry that I hurt you so much. Truly, I am. Will you please forgive me and give me another chance? Melissa, I am very disappointed in you. Personally, I think that you and I should stop seeing each other for now. I am going home now. We may not talk for a very long time. As Damien stepped outside the cottage and was about to leave, Melissa ran after him. What? You're leaving me? After I sincerely apologize to you? She blocked Damien's way as Damien sat on his magical broom and was about to take off her flight. She desperately asked him to stay with her. Damien, please. I am so sorry. I love you so much. I promise I will not lie or deceive you anymore. 
Get out of my way, Melissa! He ordered as he started flying his broom and disappeared into the evening sky. Please, come back, Damien! She cried as she wept. I can change, Damien! You know I can! Heartbroken, Melissa ran back into her cottage while weeping. A few days later, Melissa had not heard from Damien since they had a fight. Melissa was still alone and heartbroken. In the meantime, she began to write letters to Damien, telling him how sorry she was and wanted him back so badly. As time went by and as days became weak, Melissa kept writing letters to Damien several times, but Damien never wrote her back. At all. Melissa wondered why Damien would not write her back. But still she became depressed and emotional, like she was being abandoned, unloved, and ignored. She gave up on writing letters to Damien and listlessly dropped them to the floor beneath her. She cried and cried some more, until the mascara ran down her cheeks and landed on her fallen letters on the floor. She wiped the tears and runny mascara off her face. She had an idea. She decided to go to Damien's castle as a surprise, so then she stepped outside and magically disappeared. That night, back at Damien's castle, Melissa magically reappeared and entered the castle. She hiked up the stairs to the tallest tower of the t castle where Damien always used to hang out. When Melissa entered the doorway of the dining room and surprised Damien with a rose in her hand, she saw Damien seated at the dining room table with another different witch. At the covered dining room table, Damien had a new witch girlfriend. Her name was Isabella. He and Isabella were having red wine and plates of spaghetti. While they ate and drank, Isabella laughed at Damien's jokes when Damien talked about how crazy Melissa was. And while Damien and Isabella were aware that Melissa was behind him, Melissa became more heartbroken. She had never ever been so hurt and betrayed in her life. She then decided to confront them at the dining room table. At the table, Damien and Isabella had their lips met. Melissa angrily stormed over to the table to confront the two lovers. Damien, so this is why you never talk to me anymore. You are now with this um, new ugly old hag. Melissa snarled and sneered as she confronted him and pointed him out. Melissa, what are you doing here? You know what I'm doing here, Damien, so don't play stupid with me. She hissed as she continued on. You and I have been together for so long. We have made a vow that you and I are to marry and to have a daughter and I was our first child. But you disgraced me, Damien, when you have been sneaking off with an ugly hag while behind my back. She then exploded with rage and fury and roared. This is ultimate betrayal, and you have betrayed your own bride and be witch. Melissa, you need to leave. Isabella interrupted. Damien told me all about you. You are getting even crazier than we thought. Leave, you dirty old hag! Melissa screamed. This is between me and Damien. Damien is mine. You hear me? All right, I am done here. Isabella said as she left the dining room and exited the castle. Alone, Melissa slapped Damien across the face and continued confronting him. Damien, how the heck could you? Melissa, you have been making me very sick every time I go out to eat with you. Right now, you are becoming crazier and more obsessed about me. I have had enough of that and I have enough of, of you. Damien explained and Melissa was very shocked and hurt to hear what he had just said to her. She then began to cry. <laughs> you have had enough of me? <laughs> Our marriage is off. We are done. <sighs> but Damien, don't you love me? <sighs> Can you please um, give me another chance? <sighs> please? 
It's over, Melissa. Get out. <laughs> Damien ordered. Melissa became even more heartbroken and emotional that Damien broke up with her. You will be very sorry, Damien. I will make you pay the price by scaring the demons out of you. She magically disappeared after she threatened him with haunting magical powers.